this is Lagum Eats. Today we're going to be making a beef stew. It's hearty, it's vegetable packed, and loaded with bacon. Let's take a look at the ingredients. We're going to use one and a half pounds of this boneless beef chuck, four strips of bacon, lots of vegetables here. We're going to use one onion, a cup of peas, a juicy tomato, two stalks of celery, two carrots. I like a little heat in my stew, so we're gonna put in two jalapenos, a tablespoon of thyme leaves, three cloves of garlic, two bay leaves. We're gonna use one cup of red wine, three cups of homemade beef stock, and salt and pepper. Let's get cooking. All right, first thing we're gonna do is chop up our bacon. Make sure your bacon is a little cold because it's gonna make it easier to chop up. We're just gonna cut it into thin strips. Our bacon is chopped. We're gonna turn on our stove to medium high, let it heat up a bit. We can take off this lid. I'm using a Dutch oven to do the stew. Uh, however, you can use any sort of pot. All right, our pan is hot now. We're gonna put in our bacon. Okay, that sizzle. You don't need to put any oil in when you put in the bacon because the bacon has a lot of fat. All right, while that renders, we're gonna chop up our beef. So first things first, I'm going to wipe down our beef with a paper towel. Get it nice and dry. If it's kind of wet, you're not going to be able to get a nice, good sear on it. Okay, we're going to chop this up into about one inch cubes. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you see this big chunk of fat right here? We're actually going to trim that off. We want a lot of fat in it because that's what's going to break down and make this uh, beef just melt in your mouth, just fall apart when you eat it. But this big chunk, that's going to stay and it's not going to be very good. So just cut that right out. This chuck roast isn't a kind of beef that you throw on a high temp for a few minutes and cook it medium rare. It's gonna be really tough if you do that. Like really chewy, you can't even eat it. We're gonna cook it at a low temperature and lots of liquid. Like I said, the fat's gonna break down and just make it melt in your mouth. Check on our bacon. Flip it over to get it all nice and crispy. All right, our beef is chopped up. We're gonna salt and pepper it. Just set it aside on another plate. We're gonna liberally put kosher salt all over this. Get it nice and salty. Freshly ground pepper all over it. I'm gonna flip them over and salt and pepper the other side as well. We're gonna use our slotted spoon. We're gonna take out our crispy bacon. Make sure you leave all that fat in the pan now. All right, set this aside. All right, we're gonna put in our beef now. So take your tongs, dump in your beef. And you don't want to overcrowd the pan. You want to make sure that they're kind of in an even single layer. Otherwise, you're more steaming the beef instead of searing it. You're not going to get that good crispy crust on the outside. So I'll do half at a time. So we're going to let that sear on each side for a few minutes. I'm going to clean my cutting board and my knife. All right, let's chop up our veggies. We'll start with our carrots. We don't need to wash these, we're gonna peel them. Take out your peeler. Just throw down these. My dogs are getting all excited right now because they love when I chop up veggies. So I usually give them some scraps and they love carrots. 
check on our beef real quick. Still needs a few more minutes. All right, so we'll stop by, start by chopping off the ends of these. And we're just gonna cut these into not too thinly sliced because they're gonna be cooking in the liquid and we don't want them to completely break down and get all mushy. You want them in bite-sized pieces. See, they love carrots. Gotta get the little one too. Okay. okay, let's chop up our celery. I'm gonna cut off kind of that white end there. And a little bit at the top. And again, we'll chop these up into bite-sized pieces, but not too small where they just disintegrate in the stew. We can put all this together because it's all going at the same time. Let's check on our beef. All right, that's got a good, nice brown color. We're gonna flip them all over. And we'll sear the other side. Let's chop up our onion. I'm gonna first cut it in half. Make sure the root is still attached. I'm gonna chop it in. You cut off this little end right there. Get rid of those pieces. And then we're gonna dice it up. Again, we can put all this onion together with the celery and carrots. Our beef is now all golden brown on each side. So we're gonna take it out and just set it aside. Put in the other half now. We're gonna set the carrots, the celery, and onion aside in a separate bowl. Use your bench scraper. Makes it a lot easier to transfer food over. Set this aside. Whew. My eyes are watering from that onion. Oh. All right, let's chop up our tomato. Take this little green thing off. We're gonna dice it up like the onion. All right, we're gonna chop up our jalapeno. Now be very careful because I'm sure you guys know and most of you probably have experience with this, but if you get any juice on your fingers and then you touch any cuts or your eyes, or it's not gonna be good. Your eyes are gonna be burning, your cuts are gonna be burning, it's awful. So be careful, touch it the least amount that you can. I'm gonna dice this up. Now, I like my tomato to be a little spicy, so I leave in the seeds. If you don't like a ton of spice, you can either leave out the jalapenos entirely or take out the seeds and it'll be less spicy. All right, we're 
right, we're gonna set these aside in a separate bowl because we're gonna use them a little bit later. All right, I'm gonna clean my cutting board because it's still got all the juices on it. I wanna get rid of that. And wash my hands. All right, let's take out our beef. All right, now we're gonna dump in our onion, celery, and carrots. Dump all those in. We're gonna saute them a little bit until they soften. You can use your wooden spoon. And you see all that stuff kind of burned bits on the bottom? It may look like it's not gonna taste good, but that right there, that's all the flavor. Later, we'll deglaze the pan a little bit more with our red wine, and it all will come up. All right, now we're gonna take our thyme leaves off the thyme sprigs. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your thyme sprig, and you're gonna go down the stalk with your fingers to get the most thyme leaves off. Like this, just put it right there. Up at the top though, you kinda have to just pick them off almost one by one, it's awful. It takes forever. If you have kids, a husband, make them do this. I hate picking thyme leaves. All right, let's set aside our thyme leaves now. Let's check on our veggies. Right, looking good. Now we're gonna add the red wine to the pan. Now cooking is more of an art. So I don't always measure all my ingredients. You can add a little bit more of this, a little less of that. It all depends on your taste. But we're gonna put about a cup of red wine in here. Give that a mix. Bring that up to a simmer. So turn up the heat if you need to a little bit. We're gonna let that wine, the alcohol, cook off for about a minute or so. Okay, the alcohol is all cooked off now. We're gonna add in our tomato. Throw it in there. Add your thyme. And we're gonna add our garlic. Now I hate mincing garlic, so what I use is a microplane. Take your microplane and your garlic. And mince in there. It kind of creates almost a, a paste. Like that. If you don't have a microplane though, you can totally go ahead and mince up the garlic with a knife. Give that a stir. Now we're gonna add our beef stock. Pour it right in. And now we're gonna bring that up to a simmer. We'll add in our bay leaves. Now add in our beef. and our bacon. Give that a stir. We're gonna cover it and let it simmer for about two hours. Our stew has been simmering for two hours now, so we're gonna add our jalapenos. Let's go ahead and just Toss those suckers in. Now we're gonna give it a stir. All right, we'll put the lid back on and let it simmer for another hour. Our stew has been simmering for another hour now, so it is ready to pour the peas in. Cut the lid. We can actually turn off the heat now. These peas just need just the residual heat to warm up. They don't actually have to cook. Just stir them through and get them heated up. We're gonna take out the bay leaves now. Our 
our stew is ready to be plated and tasted. Yeah, look at all this. Bacon, beef, carrots. I love the pop of color the peas bring to the dish. All right, and we're just gonna garnish it with a little bit of chives. Use parsley, whatever kind of green herb you want. All right, let's taste it. Mm -hmm. oh, look at that beef just falls apart. Mm. Got a little spice from the jalapeno. Beef just melts in your mouth. Oh, it's so good. This would go great with some creamy mashed potatoes, a big chunk of crusty bread, and of course, a glass of red wine. I hope you guys enjoyed my beef stew. The full recipe can be found on my food blog at lagameats.com. I've got a lot more delicious dishes coming out soon, so hit a like and subscribe below. See you next time. Hey, dogs.